Looking for magic cards or magic carps? On the new CFB Marketplace you can buy sealed products and singles directly from local game stores. Support the channel by using the referral code LVD at checkout. Hello and welcome to another Standard Games video. Today we're taking a look at a vampire deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, built around Evelyn the Covetous, which has the Grixis color identity, so of course we built a black-white vampire deck instead, but thanks to the hybrid mana cost we can still play Evelyn for triple black, so that's no problem. She's a 2-5 legendary vampire with flash, and when Evelyn or another vampire enters a battlefield under our control, we get to exile the top card of each player's library with a collection counter on it, and once each turn we can play one of those cards from exile, including lands, which is quite useful, and we can also spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast it, to help us cast spells from the opponent's deck as well. So Avalon can provide a ton of card advantage in the late game, especially when combined with Edgar Charmed Groom, which when it dies transforms into Edgar Markov's Coffin, which will generate three 1-1 vampire tokens over the course of three turns, so those are perfect for triggering Avalon and exiling more cards with collection counters to provide a ton of card advantage. Then we've got a few other vampires throughout the deck. Three copies of a welcoming vampire, also draws cards whenever we play a small creature, so also plays quite nicely with Edgar Markov's coffin, and even Evelyn at two power will still trigger welcoming vampire, so we can maybe enable her in our turn to draw a card, and then flash an Evelyn in the opponent's turn to draw an extra card of welcoming vampire, so those both synergize quite nicely with each other. And then of course we've got some cheap creatures as part of our black-white sacrifice plan that will also enable welcoming vampire, and then Soren the Mirthless also makes two powered flying vampire tokens, good for enabling a welcoming vampire, as well as Evelyn the Covetous, and then of course the plus one also providing more card advantage. And then looking at the rest of our deck, of course we've got the early one drops as part of our sacrifice plan, I Twitch when it dies lets us learn one of our seven sideboard lessons, and then we've got Shambling Ghast, which when it dies often makes a treasure token to help us ramp, got Spirited Companion as a proactive turn 2 play, drawing a card when it enters, and we also don't mind sacrificing it either to Deadly Dispute, which will draw to make a treasure, or to Rite of Oblivion, which requires a sacrifice to exile target non-land permanents, and we can also flash it back out of the graveyard for 4 mana, to complement a Vanishing Verse as our instant speed spot removal spell, exiling a monocolored permanent, and then the Meat Hook Massacre is our board wipe to deal with opposing Go White decks, and then the mana base is very straightforward, just black and white lands, 6 planes, 6 swamps, 4 copies of Hive as an extra creature land to apply pressure with, and then some dual lands, as well as one copy of Voldaren Estate, which we can maybe use to create some blood tokens in the late game. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. Shambling Ghast into Companion, hopefully pick up some more interaction. And then we've got our Sorin and Edgar on four. Okay, up against another Sacrifice deck. And we did find a Rite of Oblivion. So I'm okay trading Shambling Ghast for Chef. And then next turn we can maybe Rite of Oblivion something. Professor of Symbology, opponents on maybe a Cleric tribal deck. So I don't mind getting rid of the Dockside Chef. And then could sacrifice Eye Twitch to learn. Or maybe Shambling Gas to make a treasure. Let's try that. Killing the Professor also reasonable, but... Not too worried about a one toughness creature. Although if the opponent's playing a pyre of heroes, which is somewhat likely, then it's worth it to get rid of their cleric so they cannot sacrifice it. Alright, opponent does get to look at two cards here. I guess we want to keep Edgar. Play Edgar. Attack for one. At least Edgar doesn't get exiled by a Vanishing Verse. Could still be exiled by opposing rights. Interesting attack. Fine to block. Let's 
specialist to get it back. Fair enough. So, can send Edgar if we'd like, or just eye twitch. Opponent takes a trade. And now we're waiting for Evelyn. It's going to be a venerable war singer. So that's what the red splash is for. Okay, it might be worth exiling with Eye Twitch. And then learn for confront the pass, which can get back Soren. Expert attacks, probably another specialist, so I'll take it this time. And specialist can get back. The professor. Okay, still fine to get Sorin, draw a card with it. Opponent will be forced to exile Soren here with the reduced to memory they just learned for. Right, opponent exiles Edgar instead. So maybe they have a different answer for Soren. Just attacking, that's fine. So block here. Can double block here. Maybe keep Shambling Gas around, or we could double block Shambling Gas and then. Finish off the professor as well. As it adds an extra type for party purposes. Get to keep drawing. Poden might have a meat hook massacre in hand, but we still get to draw off welcoming vampires. I think that's okay. Oh, and there's Evelyn at long last. We did lose Edgar's coffin, so we won't necessarily have a ton of vampires to go with it, but can also use Sorin to make flying vampire tokens. There's a couple more clerics with Life's Bond and Skyclave Hierophant. Okay. So I can play Shambling Ghasts, trigger Welcoming Vampire, and then flash in Evelyn end of turn. Massacre is going to be nice too. Guess we'll keep drawing with Surin, which can maybe deal 13 damage next turn. And then attack with our flyers. Could send in Spirit as well. Sure. Our fans gonna take the trade. So can maybe get back another cleric here, which would be the professor. Trade it for the cleric of lives bond instead. Hoffrey, okay, that's a nice one. Our fans attacks. Can just block with Evelyn without killing Hierophant, otherwise it comes back as a uh, spirit, which we may want to avoid, but then again I guess it's gonna get a card back regardless. 
So maybe flash in Evelyn first, see what we reveal. Draw off Welcoming Vampire as well. Just a couple of lands. Um, is there opponent dead? So there will be a 20, one blocker. This can deal 13, 7, so I think they're just dead actually. If we block here and activate Hive. So, can maybe draw with the Eye Twitch first. Deadly Dispute's nice too. But yeah, let's activate Hive. Attack with everyone. Exiling one of their clerics. And then a Soren Ultimate should do it. Alright, there we have it. So beat the Mardu clerics. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Our hand seems quite nice. Gassed into Deadly Dispute on two. Draw some cards, make a couple treasure tokens. A ramp out Edgar. As Deadly Dispute can sacrifice Edgar to get the coffin going. Opponent on Jund. And an underdog. Find target for Vanishing Verse. But for now we want to dispute. Okay, another dispute. So we can dispute our treasure token, but can do that at instant speed. Don't think I want to play Vampire without triggering it right away. And playing Edgar sacking both treasure tokens doesn't feel great. So I could just Vanishing Verse now. Could wait and see what else they play. Or I could Dispute to make sure we keep hitting our land drops and just take three for now. Which is probably going to be my play. And a Fable of the Mirror Breaker is a play. Alright. It's also a valid target for removal. Right of Oblivion's not bad. So we have options. Could just play Edgar as a reasonable blocker. And then still have Vanishing Verse available. That seems quite decent. And then... If uh, Edgar dies, we'll play well with Welcoming Vampire as well. Opponent probably playing Obnixilis, maybe Hesika's Chariot as well. So, eventually finding a Meat Hook Massacre for Chariot would be nice. And, uh,. I guess we can pressure Obnixilis with our flyers, or maybe exile one copy with right. Opponent did discard a copy of Strangle, so they might have another answer for Edgar. Infernal Grasp. Could Deadly Dispute. Or can just let it happen, maybe Vanishing Verse on the Shaman token, so they don't get to generate more mana. Yeah, let's try that. I'm okay with Edgar turning into a coffin here. While Underdog will be annoying at some point, we still have plenty of exile effects to deal with it eventually. And it's not going to be coming back from the graveyard anytime soon. So just a three-powered creature, which is manageable. And another one. Okay, so... Now... Could sit on Deadly Disputes... Maybe use removal as well. Uh, playing Sorin doesn't feel great now their opponent has two underdogs to apply pressure with. They're also about to transform Fable, so digging for a sweeper would be nice. Which makes me lean towards the Deadly Dispute plan here. 
and uh, pass it back. And then hopefully we can pick up a massacre to clean up all these creatures. But we may end up using Vanishing Verse on one underdog. We can Shumblock. And then Deadly Dispute. If we see we don't draw a copy of Meetog Massacre, then I might want a Vanishing Verse to prevent some damage. If we find Avalon, she can also maybe swoop in to ambush an underdog. But her opponent also have a couple of cards in hand, so they might have some instant speed removal. The opposing Hive of the Eye Tyrant also reason to hang on to Vanishing Verse. Underdog's attack. Block Disputes. Found a Companion and a Shambling Ghast. Alright, let's exile the unblocked Underdog. And there's chariots, so massacre would still be great here. Evelyn, okay. So we can flash an Evelyn, but might have to deal with chariot first. So how about we play Shambling Ghasts, sack it to Right of Oblivion, making a treasure token. I guess that still leaves us one short of actually playing Evelyn. Could main phase play Evelyn, hope to draw a land of the ability that we can play. Or we can go Welcoming Vampire into either a Shambling Ghast or Spirited Companion, likely to draw land, and then we can write Chariots and Welcoming Vampire as a reasonable blocker. Alright, that seems fine too. And we get some immediate value. Edgar and Deadly Disputes so did not actually find the land we were hoping for, which is unfortunate. I don't think I play Shambling Ghasts. Keep it to maybe trigger Vampire next turn, if it's still there. So we're about to take a significant hit now. No shortage of powerful cards in hand, but the question is, do we have the time to deploy them all? Opponent can activate Reflection too now. Next turn we will get our Edgar back as well. Reflection copying Underdog. Just want to try and prevent as much damage as possible. While keeping Welcoming Vampire around. Could also try and keep Companion so we can sack it to Right of Oblivion, although we still have Shambling Gas as something we can sacrifice, so this seems fine. Alright, Edgar about to transform again. Triggers Welcoming Vampire as well. Okay. So, hit our land drop. We can Rite of Oblivion to get rid of Chariots if we'd like. Um, alternatively, I can play towards Evelyn. Although at this point I guess it doesn't trigger Welcoming Vampire anymore as we control Edgar. Which is pretty interesting. Could also sacrifice Edgar to right, although the 4-4 body is kind of nice here. So how about we go Eye Twitch, sacrifice Eye Twitch to right, and then we can learn for an answer for Reflection. We have options. Chariot is probably the scariest card in play. And then we can learn for 
Maybe environmental sciences. Hit an extra land drop for next turn. Play Shambling Ghasts. Could get a Necrotic Fumes as another decent answer to Underdog. Let's get uh, Sciences. And then... No attacks. Sciences. Get a Swamp. And I'm okay playing Shambling Gas, even though we already triggered Welcoming Vampire. Just want to try and keep the board somewhat stable. So we can safely take over with Evelyn. Reflection of Kiki Jiki is making me a little bit nervous, since I could play a large creature and then give it haste right away. Also very good with the Harvester. So that can take out Welcoming Vampire, for instance. So next turn, probably looking to exile Reflection. Underdog attacks. They might have a Strangle to finish off Edgar, which is a reason to block with my Life Linking token instead. Although, let's say they do finish off Edgar, we trade. Yeah, they have a lot of 2 2 tokens that are potentially problematic. So, maybe this is fine for now. Ooh, there's our Meatog Massacre, perfect. So that can clean up nicely. And then... We can still keep up Deadly Dispute or maybe play Sorin. Gain some life back. Can even play Evelyn at instant speed thanks to the extra treasure token. So maybe that's the play. If we play Sorin, maybe a combination of removal and hive could pressure it, but I guess it would still have enough loyalty. So sure, we'll go with Sorin first, draw a card. And then we can play Evelyn maybe next turn and make a vampire token to trigger her right away. Okay. Feeling a lot better about our chances now. So we probably suspect a strangle in hand at least. They can blitz underdog, attack, I'm happy to block with Edgar. Alright, opponent's just gonna pressure Sorin here with Hive. If they also have red mana for strangle, they can finish off Sorin. Nope, opponent's just going face. That's fine. Exiling Rite of Oblivion makes sense. Okay, well, now we've got our card draw engines going in our favor. So maybe just keep plussing Sorin, revealing Evelyn. Now they know about it. And three, five, we have enough mana to play Evelyn and Dispute. And then, do we want to attack with Edgar? Points at 16, sure. Evelyn can ambush the uh, underdog if that gets blitzed. And we just kind of want to turn the corner and start applying pressure ourselves now. Even though I'm sure we can also just win a long grindy game instead. Opponent has Thirst for Sorin. Sure. Wouldn't be the first one. And we'll see what Evelyn reveals. Just a couple of lands. Could dispute our treasure token. Why not? Sacking Edgar just to get the coffin going with Evelyn is also fun, but when we want to apply pressure, probably not necessary. So, companion, see what we pick up. Can send in our hive as well. Shambling Ghast. Play a land from exile. And don't mind getting in with hive. 
And then our opponent's going to be under a ton of pressure. Can exile the underdog. And I almost have enough to kill my opponent if I had enough for Shambling Ghast and then Massacre for one, killing Companion and Ghast, we would have them. But we're one mana short, so I'll just play Ghast and pass. So, don't really see how our opponent kills us from here, but I'm sure there's some weird combinations. Like maybe Ziatora coming back from the graveyard. But nope, opponent scoops it up. Alright, awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand is not perfect, as we are kind of missing some 2 and 3 mana plays. But uh, at least Eye Twitch and Shambling Gas help us bridge the gap to get to Evelyn. Up against what could be a pretty aggressive white deck. Blue-white for now. Could trade Shambling Gas for Initiates. I think I'll take it for now, since we may want to use Shambling Gas for Treasure. Now I'm kind of incentivized to keep an Eye Twitch until after Welcoming Vampire. Opponent will get to train the Initiates, but we can kill Thalia with Shambling Gas if we'd like. So, interesting spot. There's also a chance they just get rid of Welcoming Vampire right away, and I would rather have the extra blocker. Now well, let's uh, try this. Okay, opponent Asper Colors, Spellbinder, gonna have a look. Probably gets rid of Welcoming Vampire now. But now Shambling Gas could kill Spellbinder too. So is that the play? Just jump Thalia, kill Spellbinder, so they cannot train the initiate next turn. Although I Twitch would block Spellbinder just fine. So maybe just want to get rid of Thalia, or we can double block initiates and kill it with a minus one minus one, and then we can learn for environmental sciences. Next turn, just play I Twitch to block Spellbinder. Although then, if they remove I Twitch, we could be in a bit of trouble. So maybe just trade for Thalia. Sure. Dispute's not bad. So now we can dispute for two mana as opposed to three. Opponent does get to trade initiate if they attack with Spellbinder, but then we can trade for it, so that's not too bad. Although they might have a Wandering Emperor here with four mana. Seems likely. Well, still gonna make them use it, and then we can dispute. Alright, so our opponent's not missing a single beat here. We even got rid of Thalia for them, so they could play Amperon Curve. And then, probably need to get Sciences to keep hitting our land drops, sadly. Hope to find... Like a Mito Massacre at some points. Okay, Vanishing Verse helps. So we could Sciences, get a land, verse the Emperor. Or we can try and get the creatures under control first. Let's do this. Might want an extra planes. And just get rid of Emperor. Alternatively, we could Dispute, and then Vanishing Verse. No, that doesn't seem as good. Opponent could technically use Initiate to get rid of our Treasure Token. Don't know if that's a play they'll make. And then do I want to take 8? Or do we want to chump? There is another dispute in hand, and we do have a right, which might require some sacrifice fodder. So we'll take eight. Opponent considering activating initiate here. And they'll go for it. That's fine. So 
So now I could just flash an Evelyn. I twitch blocks Spellbinder and we'll be on our way. So no need to write. Even another Emperor doesn't mess that up too bad. Although they might have one given that Spellbinder is attacking. Picked up some lands. Right, trade happens. And learn four. Let's see, we did not find any Planeswalkers yet. Could grab Pass Summoning to Sacrifice to right, perhaps, since we're kind of light on Sacrifice fodder. Opponent just passes, and now we get to take over with Evelyn. Can play my Welcoming Vampire if I'd like. Pass Summoning plus Deadly Dispute is an option. Although having the Welcoming Vampire in play first might be better. Trigger Evelyn, pass it back. And we're not in a rush here. Another Spellbinder is fine. And our opponent's kind of running out of steam. And don't really see them coming back. So, a lot of options. Pass Summoning Triggers, Welcoming Vampire. And then we could play Edgar with Evelyn. Exile a couple more cards, stay back. Meetog Massacre for five, we'll wipe our entire board. That's fine. Still have a backup Evelyn, we get to transform Edgar. So, now what? Maybe go for Evelyn. Could also play our end of turn. Since we're not necessarily in need of the cards in exile. To play around sorcery speed removal. Spellbinder will respond. See the interceptor as well. And the yeah, opponent's just buried in card advantage here, especially with Edgar's Coffin plus Evelyn. We're gonna exile a ton of cards. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw with a fine hand. Get to start with Shambling Ghast and Dispute, which is always great. Up against a Bant colored deck. Make that potentially a five color deck. Okay. Probably not a great matchup for us, is my guess. As uh, opponent might have a better late game than us. Fight rigging, all right, so some sort of combo deck. Well, we can dispute here after they decide on hideaway. And then finding a vanishing verse or right of oblivion is gonna be key. For now, can play Welcoming Vampire plus Companion. Or we can Companion plus maybe Dispute if we're really desperate to find an answer to this fight rigging. Because we don't want our opponent to combo off here. Could also play Sorin and plus. So we have a ton of options. Start with a land, that's the easy part. Yeah, Vampire plus Companion draws two. Gets a bit of a board going, but uses all my treasures. Soren only uses one and still gets a card draw engine established. So I think we go for Soren, even though I don't give myself the chance to find an answer to fight rigging this way. I take no joy in this. Okay. Well, let's hope they can't enable it. Is free. Is there a shakedown heavy? Not quite. Alright, eye twitch is good. So if I sack it to Deadly Dispute, we can answer Fight Rigging, but we'll start with Sorin. Vanishing Verse, perfect. So that deals with Fight Rigging. And then... What's next? 
maybe Nightwitch Tapland or Companion. Could go for a Welcoming Vampire, but I'm not gonna trigger it yet, so that's less exciting. So maybe going Eye Twitch, Taplands, and pass. And then if they don't make me use Vanishing Verse, I can Deadly Dispute instead. So, 4 mana for a Battle Mammoth. Okay, whenever a permanent you control becomes a target of a spell or ability, you may draw a card. So I probably want to just exile the Mammoth instead of the Fight Rigging. Although that's actually a close call, since we have more answers to Mammoth than we do Fight Rigging. But uh, it's not like I currently have answers to the Mammoth. So, yeah, Mammoth resolves. And in response to Fight Rigging, opponent gets to draw a card. But at least they don't get to enable the Rigging. The Rite of Oblivion, perfect. Alright, so now I'm feeling a lot better about our spot. So we can attack. Sacrifice I Twitch to get rid of Fight Rigging. And learn four. Could get a Necrotic Fumes. As we're currently lacking removal. And then... Do I want to play a Welcoming Vampire? I'm okay if it gets removed, or we can just play Spirited Companion, keep up Deadly Disputes. Although I probably want to get Avalon going. So... Avalon still triggers Welcoming Vampire next turn. Alright, Kami War. That's a good one. Exiles are certain that was about to ultimate. And we probably could have killed our opponent here between Vampire, Hive, and Sorin Ultimate. But at least we can exile the Kami War with a right. So, Companion draws two cards now. And we'll use the right from Graveyard to be mana efficient, I suppose. Yeah, the five color deck is scary since you never know what to expect. Opponent's got all their colors established. So if they just chain together a bunch of Kami Wars, we could be in trouble. Despite dealing with early fight rigging. But now with Vanishing Verse and right in hand, we can deal with all those scary enchantments. Okay, this seems like a turn for Evelyn. And we'll play our end of turn to dodge sorcery speed removal. And at least the good news about our opponents playing a 5 color deck is that we'll hit some powerful cards with Evelyn to play off the top of their deck as well. Table of the Mirror Breaker. Still manageable, could Vanishing Verse it, which I guess I don't hate. Get rid of the enchantment itself, since we don't want them looting into more powerful top decks. And then we could play Tybalt here if we'd like. Sure, why not? And that can plus. And then Kami War is going to be a nice play. Keep Evelyn on defense. And our opponent concedes, yeah. Using their own cards against him is very satisfying. Awesome. So, yeah, we get to see our black-white vampire deck in action. And Evelyn has been quite impressive. Not only as a flash creature that is relatively large, so a good blocker against aggressive decks, but then just provides an insurmountable amount of card advantage, especially when combined with a couple extra vampires. And, uh, of course, Edgar being the best one, as it can produce multiple tokens. So, yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.